Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Today related to the time value of money, we will see important problems, which is examination point of view and also in daily ways also it is useful. So that kind of problems we are going to work out. Uh, in the previous classes, what you have done, suppose I am going to invest so and so amount, say one amount, 10,000 if I am going to invest, what will be the future value? Our future, if I am going to get 10,000, what will be the present value that we have seen? That was one case. Second case is that uh, same amount, 10,000, three times if I am investing, what will be the future value? Or same amount, three times if you are going to get, then what will be the present value that we have seen? Same amount. But today's problem, we are going to see that different amounts if you are investing, different amounts if you are investing in future. So what will be the present value? Not same value that we will see. Two problems I am taking and today's class I am going to explain you how to calculate present value without a table using calculator. Very important and this calculation by using this calculator without tables this calculation is also useful in the capital budgeting chapter next chapter also. So stay connected. I need your concentration. Are you with me? Yes. Now today we'll see two problems. First problem is that you are going to invest 3000 rupees at the end of first year. First year you are going to invest 3000 rupees. 4000 rupees at the end of second year. Second year is different amount, not same amount. Na? First year 3000, second year 4000 and 6000 each year from third to fifth year. 3rd to 5th year, 6,000 you are going to invest, okay? Find the present value of these cash flows at a discount rate of 10%. Present value you have to calculate at a discount rate of 10%. For each value, suppose say for 3,000, for 4,000, differently you need not to calculate. Simply you can prepare one table. Through a table we can calculate discount rate, na? discount rate means present value table we have to use it. How to calculate? Simply we need few columns. What are the columns? First one is year, future value. Future you are going to invest now. So this is, these are your investments, future value, rate of interest, how much? 10% and PV factor at the rate of 10%, okay? Present value, five columns. I'll show you just to five minutes, you'll, you can understand everything. How many years total we have? Five years, okay? I'll write here five years. One, two, three, four, Five. Then future value. What is the future value? First year is 3000 you are going to invest. Second year 4000. Third year to fifth year 6000. Means rest of the years. Third year to fifth year. Every year you are investing 6000. And what is the rate of interest? It is 10%. 10% means 0.10. 10 by 100 it comes to 0.10. So same amount I'll write here for all the columns. Then after that PV factor we have to find out. Just focus carefully. How do we calculate PV factor? There is a formula. 1 by 1 plus R to the power of N. Okay. 1 by, I'll show you in the rough column. 1 by 1 plus R to the power of 1. 1 by 1 plus R. R is 0 0.10 to the power of 1 means first year. So, 1 divided by 1.10 you can say na. So, if you add these two, you will be getting 1.10. So, what I do? 1 divided by 1.10. I am getting, can you see my calculator? If I calculate like this, I am getting 0 0.9090. Okay. 0. 9090. This I am getting. Okay. As it is the same value as it is, then if you press just is equal to, is equal to, you will get second year value. You need not to calculate every time this second year. Just if you press is equal to, you are getting second year amount is 0 0.8264. 8264. Once again, I am pressing is equal to. Can you see? Whenever you press next year amount, you are going to get. So third year is 0 0.7513. 
वंस अगेन इफ आई प्रेस इज इक्वल टू फोर्थ ईयर जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स एट जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स एट थ्री जीरो एंड फाइव ईयर्स वी नीड ना फिफ्थ ईयर वन सेगेन आई एम प्रेसिंग जस्ट इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स टू जीरो नाइन फाइव ईयर्स प्रेजेंट टेबल्स वैल्यूज वी गॉट इट आर यू गेटिंग सिंपल फॉर्मुला वी आर यूजिंग वन बाई वन प्लस आर ओके वन बाई वन प्लस आर वन डिवाइडेड बाई वन पॉइंट वन जीरो यू आर गेटिंग दिस मच वेन यू गेट दिस अमाउंट यू जस्ट हैव टू प्रेस इज इक्वल टू सेकेंड ईयर वन सेगेन इज इक्वल टू थर्ड ईयर वन सेगेन इज इक्वल टू इज इक्वल टू लाइक दिस इज इक्वल टू नेक्स्ट 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 हाउ मेनी इयर्स यू वॉन्ट सो मेनी इयर्स यू कैन गेट दिस वैल्यूज नीड नॉट टू यूज द प्रेजेंट वैल्यू टेबल ऑल्सो श्योर डैम श्योर वैल्यूज यू आर गोइंग टू गेट इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन चेकअप विद द प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट वैल्यू नॉट एनुअल टेबल प्रेजेंट वैल्यू नॉर्मल रूपी यू जस्ट चेक इट आउट इफ यू वॉन्ट सेम अमाउंट सो लाइक वी गॉट दिस अमाउंट I'll write it here. Zero point nine zero nine zero. Next zero point eight two six four. Zero point seven five one three. Zero point six eight. Zero point six eight three zero. And zero point six two zero nine. Got it. PV factor. Now we want present value. This is future investment. Future, I am going to invest this much. What is this present value? For this, what we have to do? Three thousand into PV factor. That is why I have written two into four. Future value into PV factor. If you multiply these two, you will get present value. Okay. So let's multiply. Need not to total up every year value. You are just calculating how much it will be. Three thousand into point nine zero nine zero. It is coming to two seven two seven. And second year four thousand into point eight two six four. It is three thousand three hundred and five five point six. This is zero. Next one six thousand into point seven five one three four four thousand five not seven seven point eight. Next one second six thousand into point six eight three zero It comes to four zero nine eight. And last one six thousand into point six two zero nine comes to thirty seven twenty five twenty five point four. This is over calculation of present value of cash flows. Let me explain you. So every year, if you are investing this much of amount, as per the PV factor ten percent, it comes to first year. For you are three thousand investment, present value is two thousand twenty-seven, and four thousand this much. Like every year you got it. Am I clear about this problem? Okay. Now second problem, another problem. We'll see almost same, similar. A small difference is there. Where is my duster? No. Mr Kailas rented his house for 4 years at an annual rent of 10000 he is renting his house for 4 years how much annual rent he is expecting 10000 with the stipulated at the rent will increase 10% every year rent is expecting to increase 10% every year actually he is he has given House for ten thousand, but every year he is expecting to increase the rent by ten percent. Means his investments are not same, same like this problem. Investments are different, na. Here also investments are increasing. Ten percent you have to increase it. And ten uh, percent. What is this sentence? Okay, for right from the beginning we'll read. Mr. Kailas rented his house for four years at an annual rent. Of ten thousand rupees, with the stipulated that the rent will increase by ten percent every year, if 
the required rate of return is 15 percent rate is how much 15 percent what is the present value of the series of rent what is the present value your future investment is this year how many years are there four years your future investment and pb factor same like what we have calculated pb factor is 15 percent and present value of cash flows now what we'll do first uh, year four years now one two three four first year investment is ten thousand ten thousand i'll write second year it is increasing to ten percent ten percent on this if i increase ten thousand into ten percent how much it comes one thousand this is ten percent percentage of ten percent so it is coming to eleven thousand so second year it is eleven thousand for eleven thousand once again ten percent you are every year increasing na? so for this ten percent ten percent means one thousand one hundred comes to 12,100 this is third year amount 12,100 and third year it is on 12,100 once again 10% 13310 13310 like this cash flows did you understand can you see this on the screen let me check it out uh, it's not much visible <laughs> okay now it is visible 10 percent when we increase it for 10,000 1000 if you increase it 11000 11000 is second year for 11000 once again 10 percent if we add you are getting third year for third year this amount or 10 percent if you increase it you got the fourth year amount this is you know rest of the problem is same like this one only we have to calculate the pv factor at the rate of 15 percent here it was 10 percent now 15 percent and multiply cash flows into PV factor. I did not write this rate of interest column here. You can write, you may not, doesn't matter, okay? So PV factor, you know how to calculate. I told you this formula, na? pause the video, you work out and see. Rest of the people, you can focus. Now, calculation of PV factor, 1 plus R to the power of N, this one, okay? 1 plus R, R is here, 15%. Means we have to make it 10 to 15 that's all let's use the calculator uh, 1 by 1.15 okay 1 divided by 1.15 it comes to 0 point one minute once again 15 percent no? 1 divided by 1.15 it comes to 0 0.8695 so, shall I write here directly? 0 0.8695 means 96. Once again, I am pressing is equal to 75.7561. 0 0.7561. Once again, is equal to 0 0.6575. Once again is equal to 0 0.5718. 0 0.5718. Like this PV factor we have written. Maximum job is over. Now what to do? Just multiplication. Cash flows into PV factor. Multiplication. First one is 10,000 into 0 0.8696. This is 8696 only amount. 8696. Second one is 11,000 into 0 0.7561, 831, 831, so no, I, I don't, I, 8,317, 8,317.10, next to 12,100 into 
पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव सेवन फाइव सेवन थाउजेंड नाइन फिफ्टी फाइव पॉइंट सेवन फाइव एंड लास्ट वन थर्टीन थर्टी टेन इंटू पॉइंट फाइव सेवन वन एट इट कम्स टू सेवन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी सेवन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड टेन पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स होप आई एम क्लियर विद दिस टेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट आई एल एक्सप्लेन वंस अगेन फीलिंग एनी डिफिकल्ट वेरी सिंपल स्मॉल चिल्ड्रन कैन वर्क आउट दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स देर इज नथिंग टू वरी यू हैव टू सी अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट दे आर सेंग इन्वेस्टमेंट्स आर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट मीन्स स्टेबल यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर सेम इन्वेस्टमेंट मीन्स यू कैन यूज द फॉर्मूला आई यू कैन यूज द टेबल डायरेक्टली बट टेबल यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग बिकॉज इन्वेस्टमेंट्स आर डिफरेंट so what are the investments first year 3000 4000 and rest of the year are 6000 said 10% 10% means rate of interest 10% 0.10 and pv factor we have calculated with this formula like this okay as per the formula and what we have done to get the present value future value into pv factor multiply you got it am i clear in the same this problem is also similar to this only the thing is here uh, the amount future what he is going to get the interest rate that did not give directly the said the kept a class that every year 10% should be increasing first year 10000 next year 10% increasing means 11000 i have shown you the calculations directly also you can do nothing to worry depreciation chapter you have done na depreciation beginning same like this every year 10% depreciation you are increasing and rest of the thing is you know the scenario pv factor calculated like this and pv factor into cash flows you got pv present value of cash flow pv factor into cash flows present value of cash flows am i clear now with this completed i think 100% this chapter time value of money is completed i'll give you important questions also stay connected after this we'll go for capital budgeting my dear students don't forget to share this videos in depth i am teaching specially for all the student community and use it and get the good marks stay connected good luck